Hey everyone, so my box has just arrived. As you can see, I got some stuff from Live Aquaria. And I'm going to go ahead and open that right now. Let's see how everything's doing. Hopefully, everything's okay. We've got everything in a styrofoam box, which is nice. We've got a heat pad on here. Hopefully, it didn't get too hot. And bag number one has a little pom pom crib. I don't know if you can see. There, he's got two pom poms. It's so cute. And then bag number two. My pink streaked dress. He's in there moving around. I don't know if you can see. So good. Um, bags don't feel too cold, so that's a good sign. I'll open this other box and get them in my tank so they can start acclimating. So that's what I got from Live Aquaria. And then this box is from KP Aquatics. Another styrofoam box in here. With some newspaper. No heating pack, but it doesn't feel too cold. Probably aren't going to be able to see these guys. But there's two tiny. Wow, they are really, really tiny in enemy crabs. Um, they actually in a bag in a bag so I'm gonna take this big outer bag off. Can't. I'm just gonna cut that off. This was wrapped pretty tight. They are wrapped separately. you're gonna be able to see these little guys oh they're kind of they are kind of cold so there's you can sort of see them in there there's one the second one is in there so these guys are they're they're a little cold but I can see they're moving around and they are tiny so I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys all in the tanks acclimating and I will probably shoot another quick little piece of this video once they're all in the tanks and happy. See you later. Okay so I've got the bags in the tanks and the problem is that all four bags didn't fit in this tank. So I've got the pom-pom crab in the tank, the two anemone shrimp are in the back, and then my little Ras is actually in my other tank because if I put him in there then there's the, the water starts to get uncomfortably high so I'm gonna let the temperature sort of acclimate that way um, the tanks are are pretty close in temperature so I think it'll be okay I'll probably acclimate these guys in to this tank and then move him back over here and start acclimating him with like you know getting getting the um, salinity right after I do these guys uh, if that makes sense uh, I, I had coffee this morning and I haven't had breakfast so I'm kind of jittery and my thoughts are all over the place but hopefully that makes sense and I will do an update probably once everyone is in the tank as you can see the lights are off it is like 10 10 o'clock and my lights don't come on until until two or three, I didn't didn't change for daylight savings time, so I think I don't I don't know what time they come on, but uh, the lights will be on later. 
Um, I'm, I'm pretty glad that they came this early so the lights aren't on so they can be sort of in the dark. I have the light on in the room right now, so it's pretty bright in here, but that's the lights off. It is a sunny day, so there's still kind of ambient lighting in the room, but I think that the tanks will be nice and dark for them to sort of get used to their new home for a couple hours before the lights actually come on, and then I'll do a feeding later this evening. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's about 5 o'clock. Um, after I got everything in the tank, we went to lunch, um, came back, and our reef cleaner's order was here. Um, I didn't expect it to get here until tomorrow, so I wasn't really planning on that. I got all the bags in the backs of the tank really quickly, and then I had to go to a doctor's appointment. But I just got back a few minutes ago. I got all the snails in the tanks. I separated the snails between the two tanks. And then um, I wanted to check on how everyone was doing. So we've got one of the anemone shrimps is there on the purple plating sponge. You can kind of see he's pretty clear and see-through. So it's hard to see him, but he's hanging out there. And then the wrasse was swimming around. Oh, he's back. He's back in this corner, swimming around. So he's doing pretty good. Hopefully he finds a nice little place to hang out. Um, the other anemone shrimp, oh, he's right in here. He's right at the base of that gorgonian. I don't know if I'm gonna be able, be able you can like sort of see him, like right in there. You sort of see his little antenna moving around. So he found a couple of anemones to hang out with. And then the pom-pom crab has its own little hidey hole right in there. Right in there. And it did come with two pom-poms. I'm so excited he's got both pom-poms. So, yeah, everyone's doing okay for now. I'll probably feed in a little bit. I'll give the snails some time to wake up. They're all, all sort of moving around. You can see. A lot of them have woken up already. I have a bunch of snails in here. These guys are waking up. Some over here. And in the corner as well. I had a big clump of them. And then, hello my fishies. Alright, so everyone's doing pretty good. Like I said, I'll feed in a bit. But everyone looks like they're having a great time getting to know their new homes. I um, appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to put them down in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer any questions if anyone has them. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys when I do my next video. Bye!